Hello everyone. I was sitting here and wondering how easy it is to be a right-hander. And it makes you realise how easy it is to be right-handed. Nothing against right-handed people, of course. I am the minority in my family, but it makes you think as to how lucky the right-handers have it. For example, they will never understand problems like having pen ink all over your hands or binders pressing into your body, which is uncomfortable to say the least. And don't even get me started on the fact that people do this thing where if they've met you and you're left-handed, they immediately do things like, oh my days, are you left-handed? Oh my word. I've never met a left-hander before. Wow, really? Really? This is probably why. You probably have, but they probably just don't want to have this conversation because we're not rare Pokemon. We just write with the opposite hand. Common expressions like, my goodness, how do you write like that? Really? I mean, really? Well, how do you write right-handed? It's just a thought. And let's just get into when you have to sign for something. And then, of course, going back to the graphite or anything like that, either the pen is catered to right-handers and you have it stuck to the thing and you have to stretch it all the way. And I don't know about anyone else, but I'm terrified that I'm going to break the pen because it's not supposed to stretch that far. I always thought it was weird that they didn't keep it in the centre. Not that I really cared as a child, but it always hit me. Why not just keep it in the center? If you did, then everyone would be able to use it rather than just have it only catered to right-handed people. Also, they ask the stupid questions like, are you left-handed? Uh, no, I normally write with my toes. Of course I'm left-handed. That's why I'm writing with my left hand. I mean, I could be ambidextrous, I suppose, but most probably not. Most people are more likely to be left-handed than ambidextrous, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's so much easier to just observe, because obviously if I wasn't left-handed, I wouldn't be writing with my left hand. Also, I'm not sure if right-handers go through this. Don't even get me started on graphite issues. That is the most irritating thing. I remember at one point trying to explain to my aunt when I was a kid, she didn't want me to use pens and stuff because she could never understand how it would get on my sleeve or on my arm. I didn't draw on my arm. I know I didn't draw on my arm. And now we know. It wasn't that I'd draw on my arm. It's just lefty problems. On the plus side, there are some good things some things cater to left-handers, but they're so difficult to find and so expensive. Like, oh my days, I have a left-handed pen. I wouldn't be without it. No ink on my hands. Hooray! I am thinking of getting a left-handed ruler and notepad just because, something we haven't spoke of, spiral notepads. I would recommend one lefty to another that you get yourself your left-handed kit. Stick with it and don't be without it. Also, the majority of tools. Ice cream scoops, for example, are catered towards right-handers. Ice cream scoops and can openers. There are left-handed versions of all these things. Again, I would invest. And then we need to get down to the dark things of lifespan. Oh, days. Since we live in a right-handed world where nothing is catered to us, including musical instruments, we literally live less long. I don't think that is a good thing, but I'm biased. I am left-handed, so of course I would think that. Also, when I was at school, where they would put me was the most difficult and uncomfortable thing. 
They didn't know where to put me as I wasn't the norm, but they never considered putting the two left-handed people together so as not to bash elbows with other people, because that is the most irritating thing. It's one of the reasons I hate the idea of eating at a dinner table unless I'm in the corner or at the end. But even then, my elbows have needed therapy because of it. I would like to give a big thank you to two people today who have inspired me to do this. That being Scrubby and Fake Jake. I doubt they'll ever see this because they're much bigger than I am and much funnier than I am. But they are two brilliant YouTubers. If you like commentary, Scrubby is your man. He's very funny and he tells stories. You should definitely check out the Karen Saga, if you don't know him, and definitely should check him out. And then, Fake Jake is the king of cheesy jokes. He does memes and other Reddit stuff. I will put both of their links in the description. Anyway, those are my thoughts on being a left-hander. If you have any other stories about being a left-hander that you think I should know about, or that I missed, or haven't mentioned, put them in the comments. I will mention that my health is not at its best, so I shall aim to keep to a schedule of Fridays. Thank you. To everyone, still listen to this, you're handsome, and you're beautiful, and you, well, I'm speechless, I'll let you know next time I see you. Over to the pets. When I started this recording, that was back in August. At the time, my cat, Sylvie, was still alive. Unfortunately, she has now passed. So, now, possibly for a few videos, I will be putting pictures of her at the end of the video. I hope everyone likes them. Sorry to put a downer on the end of the video, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Over to the pets. I will also be keeping the outro, I think, of her for a little while. I hope everyone enjoys. Over to the pets. Hello all, this is Sylvie. If you liked what you saw, then subscribe for more. Hey everyone, my name's Bonjo. If you enjoyed yourself, then give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Hi everybody, I'm Jack. And if you had fun, then comment down below and let my mum know if you prefer cats or dogs.